Hey everybody, it's me Andrew back again with another video for you today and I don't know what to say. There's not much to say. There's not much going on in my life. <laughs> A boring sack of potatoes right here. Um, well, what's new? Well, the semester, my first semester of community college is ending in two weeks, so that's a relief. <laughs> Honestly, I'm ready for it to be over. I'm not gonna say like this college experience was like really hectic because it kind of wasn't. It was okay. At times it got hectic, but I was like, mm, I, can, I can work through this. So yeah. Anyway, today's video is gonna be a favorites video. My April favorites, what I've been loving this month. I know I didn't do a March one. It's mainly because I didn't have anything that was my favorite in March. I had favorite stuff, but it wasn't enough to put like into a video. So yeah. Anyway, let's just get into the video. I have my little list here because I'm professional AF so I'm gonna start off with music this is the music I've been loving this whole month so far um, some are from a while back but these are the ones I'm loving the first one's Now and Never by Halsey she released it I think two or three weeks ago I don't remember but when it came out it was amazing it's still amazing right now love it a lot the next one was a surprise because this artist released it at Coachella pretty sure you all know who it is but Lady Gaga she released her single The Cure and oh my god I was on uh, Twitter at 2 a.m. and I seen a notification pop not a notification but like a, a little dot thingy on my home uh, tab in Twitter I pressed it and I refreshed the page and then it popped up and said new single or whatever like available now the cure and i was like what no way i was i was shook i was really shook i listened to it like 20 times that night because it was amazing so me and my friend anisa shout out to anisa <laughs> we were uh shook we were just shooketh <laughs> about it all that morning i don't know if i woke her up but i think i texted her and said oh my god lady gaga released a new song so if i did wake you up anisa i'm sorry <laughs> the next one is honest so by the chainsmokers uh, it's off their new album, Memory, Do Not Open, Buy Everywhere. No, I'm just kidding. That's not sponsored because I'm not big enough to get sponsored. <laughs> anyway, but yeah, Honest by the Chainsmokers is pretty good. Okay, to be quite honest, I thought um, the songs on that album were going to be a little bit better. Like, I had my expecta expectations so high that when it came out, I was kind of like dropped down a notch. Just like, oh, yeah, these songs are alright. So, yeah. But I think Honest is my favorite one, so yeah. The next one is It Ain't Me by Kaigo featuring Selena Gomez. I think the song is pretty cool. It's different for me in a way, but yeah. There's not much to say about it. I, I listened to it, I don't know when. I don't know, I heard it on the radio one day. I was like, hmm, what song is this? I like this song. I mean, I knew it was by Selena Gomez, but because I could tell by her voice, but I knew it wasn't Selena Gomez because the person announced it, but I didn't really pay attention when they announced it. So I had to look it up and I was like, oh, yeah, the song's pretty cool. I like it. The next one is At My Best by MGK featuring Haley Steinfeld. Um, I don't actually know when I discovered this song. I think I was like listening to Spotify one day and it just came on and I was like, oh snap, this song's pretty cool. <laughs> so yeah, I like that song. The next one, this is a little weird for me. I, I used to listen to this type of music back in eighth grade, but then I never touched it for like my whole high school experience because that's when I was emo AF. <laughs> and RAR XD <laughs> um anyway but yeah uh I kind of recently got into this music again um that was a car they beeped the horn ruining my video car thanks thanks a lot no but anyway uh yeah I recently got back into this music kind of like slowly but surely it was Wednesday anyway and I was like listening to music from my past a long time ago like eighth grade so yeah, um, and I was like, oh snap, these are amazing, like, I, I forgot how amazing these songs were. Anybody ever do that? Like, they forget what a song, they forget about a song for a while and they listen to it again, they're like, oh snap, I love this song, I, I know, I remember why, I don't remember why I stopped listening to this music or whatever, but yeah, that was me Wednesday night. Um, but anyway, the song <laughs> is called No Frauds by Nicki Minaj featuring Drake and Lil Wayne. Um, apparently it's a diss track, so, yeah. That's a thing. Obviously, it's a diss track. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there, she says. And I was like, oh, snap. <laughs> anyway, uh, this next one is kind of like a gag song in a way. Me and my friend Anissa listen to it. Like, we like it, but we, we hate it at the same time because it make, it's like so irrelevant, but it's hilarious. But it's still good. It's called Thief by Ansel Elgort. I'm pretty sure you'll know him from that guy in uh, The Fault in Our Stars. But yeah, apparently he makes music now. I didn't know that. 
so yeah, that was a shock. <laughs> the only reason it's on this list is because it's hilarious, but I love it at the same time, so I, I can't. <laughs> okay, so this next category is gonna be just like abstract, like literally abstract. It's like a mixture of things anyway. I'm gonna start off with my little journal thingy. I bought like a little journal because um, I recently got into bullet journaling, I guess. I don't know if that's what you call it. I think that's what I've seen on YouTube or something. But yeah, I got into bullet journaling, so I don't know if I'm doing it right. I'm probably not doing it right, but I'm just doing it any way I feel like I want to do it. So yeah, I just make like a little to-do list for the day and then just like check it off as I go. And then I think at the end of the day, I write like a little something about the day. It's I guess you can, it's not a diary. I wouldn't call it a diary because it's like literally not my thoughts or anything. It's not like anything personal. It's just what I did throughout the day and then I like doodle or write something in here basically just yeah at the end of the day just doodle listen to music let me wind down and yeah I'm a geek <laughs> speaking of geek this leads into the next favorite gonna mention this again because it's not an Andrew video without it but Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 loving it because they released DLC pack number three so which really which contained Bojack like three new characters Bojack, Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rose, and Zamasu. I'm pretty sure most of you probably won't know what that is because, yeah, I'm a nerd. It's okay though. The next one is this camera. I bought, I recently bought a camera, I think in March. So I was gonna add that to one of my favorites, but yeah, didn't have enough favorites to put into a video like I said before. So yeah, anyway, I'm loving this camera. It's a Canon uh, EOS Rebel T5i. I actually like it a lot. I really do. I like the quality upgrade from my phone. So yeah. The next one is actually a TV show, and I'm hurt right now because it was my favorite until Tuesday, this past Tuesday, because it ended. It finally ended. It was Bates Motel. I was really sad to see it go. It was just like a. It was a great show. It was something I look forward to every Tuesday because yeah, I don't have a life. FYI. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was a really great show. I liked it a lot. To see it go <sighs> made me cry. I cried. No, I'm just kidding. But honestly, rip my heart. It didn't help any better when they played a freaking goodbye segment at the end. Like, a goodbye from the cast and like a thank you from the cast. I was like, damn it. Why? Don't do this to me. <laughs> it's a great show. Check it out. It's on Netflix. Well, the first four seasons are on Netflix. Okay, this is the last thing of my favorites video. This next favorite is... My all-time favorite, like this whole month, was probably going to be dedicated just to this book. I finally got it, you guys. When it came out on the 18th, I was so sad because everybody else was getting theirs. And I had to wait like a couple days before mine came in because I was had it had to be shipped. But I got it, and it's a freaking amazing book. It's Connor Francis' Note to Self, and this is honestly the best book. I own right now. I'm not gonna promote this book as in go out and buy it or whatever like that but I'm gonna say that I really enjoyed this book a lot. It was an incredible read like I can't like me just saying that doesn't do this book justice. I I love this book a lot. It's amazing. I really enjoyed how Connor opened up to us about more in his heart and his mind in a way I guess. It's just a really good book. I I recommend you go check it out. Not for the purpose of like buying it to make it to be popular, but just because it's it's a really good book. I recommend it a lot. Like 10 out of 10, go buy it. Just because it's really amazing. A lot of good visuals as Connor usually does. Freaking aesthetic AF. Like if you look at it, I don't know if you can see, like hold on, there's like a picture. Oh like look at that. Aesthetic AF. <laughs> so I think that's gonna be it for my video. My camera is being weird. My timer is at 14 minutes. I didn't think it was gonna take that long, but yeah. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, comment below anything else you wanna see from me. Subscribe if you like. I'd greatly appreciate that as well. And turn on my bell notification so that way you get notified whenever I post a video. And yeah, I think that's it. So thanks for watching. See ya.